this movie tells a story about Nick and Janine, who live in marital bliss until Janine's ex-husband warps time to try to tear them apart. As Nick's memories disappear, he must decide what he's willing to sacrifice in order to hold on to everything he loves. First of all, this movie is a glossy romance without much heat in its romantic pairings. The movie aims for the heightened spiritual profundity, yet the script lacks the scope or sincerity required to pull off its ambitions. The characters are as thinly sketched as their sleeky anonymous urban surroundings, and they're prone to spotting hollow aphorisms. Without any real stakes to the narrative, our interest in Nick's half hazard quest for eternal love quickly wanes. The movie treats Nick's concerns as irrational jealousy rather than reasonable analysis. There's a lot of flowery yet generic dialogue about love, but the bond between Nick and Janine is stated more than demonstrated. That choice makes it harder to care once Tommy succeeds in his efforts and a time shift suddenly wipes away Nick and Janine's marriage. The audience is told over and over how important and how necessary love is, yet the film doesn't spend enough time fleshing out the love stories at its core, despite having the necessary parts to piece together. The film ultimately removes the foundation of all the romances altogether, relying on the audience to believe the death of love and the consequences of living without it. The result is an overly long sci-fi drama that idealizes love rather than engaging with it in any meaningful way. The movie also loses itself within the sci-fi premise. The internal logic of this movie's high concept only gets fuzzier. Early on, for instance, it's stated that the act of making any major changes during a trip to the past is deemed illegal. But not only is there no further mention of this law, there's absolutely no sense of how it's even enforced as no one ever swoops in to stop the film's characters as they conspicuously and recklessly alter the course of the future. In some ways, this wobbly narrative structure allows us to ponder the more intriguing film that could have been. It should be one that confronts the next logical step in the class divide as the movie's privileged characters go about rearranging their lives at the expense of the less fortunate. The movie trying to add certain layers to the effects of time, but however interesting the concept is, it's overshadowed by the lackluster world building. Time traveling being something only the rich can do because of how expensive it is brings up class differences, but the film refuses to delve further into most of its themes, which renders aspects of the story hollow and devoid of urgency. The movie eventually becomes too embroiled in its own profundity to fully soar. The more the movie goes on, the more the time travel plot falls apart, especially after Nick's sister tells him about her own experience. The filmmakers could have created an impressionistic fable in which the sci-fi mechanics wouldn't really make a difference, but unfortunately, the love story is cheesy and blunt. Characters spend so much time talking about how time travel works and yet never actually explaining it that it's impossible not to focus on all the inconsistencies. The vaguely defined rules of time travel apparently allow for a period of a few hours in which people remember their previous existence so Nick and Janine get a brief moment to declare their undying love for each other before forgetting that they were ever together. At that point, the grand romance that the movie had been setting up simply disappears. As the movie's narrative shifts, it loses its momentum, its appeal, energy, and focus. It also becomes overwhelmingly boring with conversations that go nowhere and a predictable climax setup from far away. Overall, we do not recommend this movie at all.